up, everybody? It is Alex, the Boogeyman, here from Title Boxing Club. Not with the focus point of the week. Oh, no. This is something different. I'm going to call it Midweek Musings. And today in Midweek Musings, I'm going to talk about something very important, throwing uppercuts on the bag. There are two distinctly different schools of thought when it comes to throwing uppercuts on the bag. And I can tell you there are plenty of other clubs, maybe even most, that will tell you to throw them differently than we do. I'm gonna tell you why those people are wrong, with all due respect. I've even seen Freddie Roach, one of the great boxing coaches out there, in a video talking about throwing uppercuts low like this. When you throw uppercuts on a bag, you wanna throw them here, down low. Instead of what we do, which is coming up underneath the chin, when we tell you to throw uppercuts. And oftentimes when we get people from other clubs, other places, that's what they do. And again, with all due respect to Freddie Roach, to these other places, they are 100% wrong. And I'm going to give you three reasons why. You may not care about reasons one or reasons two. You may not care anything I say, but I want you to keep watching because reason three, you're going to care about. Even if the one and two make no difference to you whatsoever. So let's get into reason one. Why would we throw uppercuts higher up on the bag, face level, versus down here consistently? Well, it's practical. And again, you don't have to take my word for it or Freddie Roach's word or anybody's word, just on your own right now. Go to YouTube, go to Google and look up boxing uppercuts, footage, boxing uppercut knockouts, whatever you want. And watch what you see. Do you see people getting hit like this? Or do you see uppercuts like that? I'll tell you, if you don't want to take the time, you're going to see everything up underneath the chin. Maybe guys are getting low, but they're still coming up underneath the chin. You might see those body shots, right? Those liver shots were coming at that little upward angle. I'll talk about those all day. I love those, but those are something different than throwing uppercuts down here to the body. It's just not practical. I don't believe in training in a way that's not practical. That doesn't, I don't think we need to do that for boxing, even if you're here just for the workout. Now there are several myths that people will say in response to throwing uppercuts up here. Number one is they'll say, it's all well and good to throw uppercuts to somebody's chin when you're in the ring, but box but bags don't have chins. They're flat, so it's different. Okay, that's true. You still don't have to, that still doesn't mean you go down here. You have to take a little bit different angle, just like there are different ranges of uppercuts. So I'm coming out just a little bit, not crazy, because that's another myth. Some people think, oh, well then, if I need to come out, I need to throw them like inverted jab crosses. You don't, you don't need to do that. You can still get that angle coming up, lifting up under, right under the chin, just like you would in the ring if the person's not right in front of you and you've got to come out a little bit. So you don't need to throw those inverted punches. Then the final myth is that injuries. People think, well, because the bag is flat, because you're coming at that different angle, you might injure your wrists. Whereas this is a little bit safer. I can tell you, I've seen thousands of people hit heavy bags. I have never seen anybody injure their wrist throwing an uppercut to the chin level on a heavy bag. Have not seen it. Maybe you've seen it. I haven't. If you're keeping your wrist straight, your fist tight, you're using that good technique, it's not going to make any difference in terms of injuries. Okay. Oh. So reason number two that we don't do this, that we don't do this, it builds bad habits. I get, I'm sure you can see one of them right now. So the combination is jab, cross, hook, uppercut to the body. Look at this. I'm wide open. And yeah, sometimes we might throw a body shot, drop the hand down, but to default to just this, putting my hands down, you see it on burnouts, people going like this, my face is wide open. Why would you want that? You don't want that. You want to stay covered up. You don't want to drop your hands unless it's for a really good reason. And as I said, since we're not seeing tons of knockouts like that, it's not a really good reason. So you want to keep your hands up. You also want to keep your eyes on the target. I see this when people do all kinds of burnouts. They're looking, they're looking down, their heads down. That's, you don't want to have your head down in boxing, not for a long period of time like that, for sure. You always want to keep your eyes on the target, on the, well, I guess the target is here, but you want to keep your eyes on the fighter that you're fighting. So those are the first two reasons. And like I said, you may think, I don't care. I don't need to throw practical uppercuts. I'm not here to fight anybody or get in the ring. I don't need to worry about those bad habits. I just want to hit the back. That's it. That's it, dude. I don't care about any of this stuff. No problem. That's fine. You don't have to care about it. But do you care about your workout? I mean, if you're here to work out, you want to get the best workout possible. I would hope, I would assume you should. So tell me, what is going to use more muscles? 
doing this or doing this. Try it and find out. Use your legs, drive up to that back. Tell me you're not getting a better workout throwing uppercuts underneath the chin and lifting up like that than you are just going like that. For one, you're barely using your legs when you do this. It's mostly just hips and arms instead of the leg drive that we wanna get. And you're not really getting that big explosive cardio. You're also not getting as much resistance on the bag. Because when you're lifting it up, you're getting that resistance of the bag. It's building stronger toner muscles. So just for purely workout perspective, it makes so much more sense to throw those uppercuts to the chin. Now, you guys may not agree. You guys may have questions. I would love to hear them. Put them in the comments. Ask me in the club. I truly believe that I am 100% right on this, but you never know. Everybody's got different opinions, different schools of thought. Try it out though. If you don't believe me, see which one makes you more tired. Do some research if you want on your own. But and as we all know, technique is everything.